Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 25247 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Just a couple of changes there, a couple of interesting ones actually. Um, some of the things have been uh, seen in the beta release actually as well. So let's have a look at what's new in this build. Now if you've got a device that's got a uh, neural processing unit, I think the Surface Pro X has that, um, where it can you get an extra button down here. Um, on here which would be um that would say uh windows uh, studio effects so that's things like voice focus audio effects uh background blur that kind of thing so it's not on my machine because i haven't got like this is a vm a virtual machine but uh that was introduced on the beta build actually a couple uh last week i think uh there are some other changes as well so um if you go into system and then power you can see you've got energy recommendations and then you can see um, some recommendations to improve your energy consumption on the device so things like dark mode which I've got on um, and it asking to turn the screen off after three minutes and so on so you can apply all these or you can go to the individual ones as well so and it takes you to those settings as well so that's quite a nice feature to to be able to control that now the, the other change is task manager uh, which I've got open already and that has a um, search book bottom in there. So let me uh, open an app. So if I start typing notepad in there, you'll see it filters the results based on what I'm typing in. You can put the product ID in there, the binary name, the publisher name, and that, that'll list it. So it's a nice, easy way of uh, getting through task manager and find the tasks that you you want to use. The other thing that's changed with task manager as well is the dark theme has been improved or the theming has been improved. You now got the option of dark light or system and some of the dialog boxes uh, work better as well in dark mode. And I think I can show you an example of that if with another effect if I go to efficiency mode um, this is a new feature where you can tick that where it doesn't um, want to be prompted for that. So if you're always turning the efficiency mode on for an app, you won't get prompted. But you notice as well it's in it's in dark mode, uh, which is something that's new as well. There is a new suggested action uh, where you can select text. Now this is US only, so I'm not sure it'll work. Let's give it a try. No. Um, suggestion action is not working on my machine but that's because it's not in US English but when you highlight a text like that I've, I've had this working when I've changed the region uh, you'll see a selected a uh, suggested action and uh, one of those is now just to copy the text um, so that's qu quite useful as well um, the thing they're, they're adding there is they show uh, in the settings there they show your cloud storage and how much you've used of that there's made some other changes in the recommended section. Um, Microsoft say they're, they're testing out some changes, so they sort of recommend things like um, websites as well. So you can, so you'll see websites that you frequently use on there as well. But it's based on your region and browsing history. So this is something that's starting uh, Microsoft for experiment with. So you may see some turn up on there. Something else that a lot of insiders have asked for is to show seconds on the clocks. Um, so let's go to personalization and okay, so it would be there. I've not got that set in yet. So this is again rolling out soon. Um, so it's not available just yet or not for everybody, but there's a show seconds option in the system tray clock. So you'll get your seconds down there. I know a lot of people have asked for that one. Uh, including this build is some fixes and you can get an ISO of this as well so if you need to get to get an ISO you can get that so they fixed a, bu a bug uh, when you install it from the ISO so if you want an ISO get the fresh one and that should work there's a, a bunch of settings fixed as well uh, there's a bunch of things fixed around taskbar and search and, and the input as well I won't go through them all but they, they fixed some Bluetooth issues as well uh, there's still some known issues with this build, uh, audio input, audio issues. I've not seen that on my other devices. That uh, this one is a virtual machine, so it hasn't got audio, but the other devices are working fine. Uh, there's some new bugs around uh, for files when you're searching for command files. You might see it. Uh, you might have to press enter. There's um, 
a new issue with OneDrive storage not matching exactly uh, what Microsoft say you've got and there's some issues with their task manager as well with some UI layouts of it. But those are the main changes with this build. Um, nice to see some things like the seconds coming back and the search bar and the task manager. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.